Hi guys, this is FT for Safefab.tv once more back with another video and today we are going to jump into Quant Network. Quant, one of the projects belonging to our ISO 2022 series where we look into the so-called chosen crypto projects. Is it worth investing in Quant? Let's dive in. So what is Quant Network? Quant Network is a blockchain operating system that was created with a goal to connect blockchains on a global scale. Quant Network is an interoperable blockchain operating system that sits on top of other blockchains, so to speak. The project is built on an operating system, distributed ledger technology and over ledger network for connecting different blockchain networks. The backbone of the project is the Overledger network, which Quant builds as the ecosystem on which future digital economy ecosystems will be built. Overledger acts as a gateway for any blockchain-based project to access all other blockchains. Overledger allows developers to build decentralized multi-chain applications, also known as MAPs, M-A-P-P-S, as in decentralized apps or DAPs. These ones are known as MAPs, multi-chain applications for their customers. For developers to build a map on the network, Network, they must hold a certain amount of quant, ticker symbol Q and T. So how does quant network work? Quant creates different layers for apps to interact at different levels. Quant has different layers for transactions, messaging, filtering, and ordering, and an application for sharing and referencing identical messages related to other applications. The quant app store has the ability to read and monitor transactions across multiple ledgers. Using Overledger, developers write smart contracts across a wide variety of chains, including those that don't support them, such as Bitcoin, for example. Developers can also use the App Store to create and release multi-chain applications or maps. So guys, the information in this video is not financial advice. If you require financial advice, guys, I think by now you know what to do. Please ask someone who is trained to give you financial advice. And if you are new, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Even if you don't intend on coming back, let's try and spread the word on YouTube by subscribing to our channel. And before you leave, even if you watch for a few minutes, just hit that like button, please. Thank you in advance. And when now move on to quant network's value proposition. The quant network is used to bridge the gap that exists between different blockchains. It also offers an operating system to access third-party blockchain. Quant network claim to empower banks, asset managers, and other financial institutions to exchange information and assets efficiently and securely. And there is the implementation of technology to raise capital and cross-border transfers in a simplified, secure manner while protecting existing IT investment. And here are some of quant network's key features. The first Next one is multi-chain application. Instead of dApps, Quant Network allows for multi-chain applications or maps to be built on top of multiple blockchains. While your regular dApps or decentralized applications are built on top of an individual blockchain, maps, on the other hand, are made up of treaty contracts. These are programs which allow multiple smart contracts on different blockchains to work in unison. Multi-chain application speed is blockchain dependent. This is because their speed and efficiency derive from the underlying blockchain and the fact that Quant Network is not a blockchain, but just a network of blockchains. So for example, a multi-chain application on top of BNB should scale faster than a multi-chain application sitting on top of the Ethereum, because Ethereum is slower than the BNB chain. The Overledger marketplace also allows individuals and businesses to build and sell data and digital applications. Now, as part of our review, we are going to apply our usual DYOR risk evaluation toolkit, where we apply 13 elements before we score them out of 10, and then take the aggregate score and classify it under four risk categories. We'll share that with you later on in the video. Starting with decentralization, the Overledger network includes gateways for linking different blockchains similar to Ethereum's proof-of-stake blockchains. The Quant network community is involved in handling treasury smart contracts. The Quant community handles QNT payments or Quant payments flowing from users to the gateways. They do this in a manner where people are held accountable by an observer. The Overledger operating system is not free to use. Both individuals and institutions must pay an annual licensing fee to use the Overledger operating system. As far as scaling is concerned, the Quant application store is the ability to read and monitor transactions across multiple ledgers. Using Overledger, developers write smart contracts across a variety of chains, including those that don't support them, such as Bitcoin. Developers can also use the store to create and release multi-chain applications or maps. Quant Network's Overledger operating system is based off Google's open source Kubernetes technology. Without getting too detailed, Kubernetes 
Kubernetes makes it possible for an app to support thousands of users with no struggle. It does this by automatically fixing any errors using a network of nodes. Now on to security. Overledger forms the backbone of the quant network. It ensures communicability among decentralized ledger technology networks and interrupts different blockchains. Quant has different layers for transactions, messaging, filtering and ordering, and an application for sharing and referencing identical messages related to other applications. However, by using Google's Kubernetes engine or GKE, which provides a managed environment for deploying, managing, and scaling containerized applications using Google's infrastructure, this could potentially introduce a single point of failure, for example, the failure of Google or any of its infrastructure. Does Quant Network interoperate? Well, by leveraging Overledger, the world's first blockchain agnostic API gateway, Quant Network offers access to any blockchain or other distributed ledgers. It simplifies connections to just one to all the private and public blockchains one might need. In other words, it is designed for a multi-chain future. Quant also works to connect an application to other applications in the same blockchain ecosystem like Ethereum as an example. The Overledger operating system is intended to be the Windows or the Mac operating system of the future network of blockchain. Now, here is an overview of Quant Network's social media presence. On Discord, we could not find any information. I do believe that Quant Network do not have an official Discord account. So we found no information. As far as Twitter is concerned, Quant Network boasts over 118,100 Twitter followers. So that's quite a good reach, over 118,000. Project team consists of 69 team members, according to information we got from LinkedIn. Another key part of our DYO, our risk evaluation, involves us jumping into the tokenomics, albeit at a very basic level. So ticker symbol for Quant Network is QNT. Total token supply, 14,612,493. Circulating supply at the point at which we are recording this video, 12.7 million or 83%. The token distribution was allocated as follows. 9.9 .9 million quant tokens were sold to the public during the ICO or initial coin offering. 2.6 million quant tokens were assigned to the company reserve, keep the project running so that's for operational purposes. 1.3 million quant tokens were reserved for the company founders and 651,000 quant tokens were issued to the company's advisors. So inside a token allocation, as far as we're Send, it amounts to 68%, which is quite a lot. I don't know what everyone thinks, but we think inside the token allocation for the QNT token is quite high. Our scope for inside the token allocation includes any tokens that are held or under the control of those closely linked with the project, which include project advisors, the team, any reserves that the team can control, as well as any of the early seed investors. They are all part of what we classify as seed investors. Now, here are some use cases for Quant Network. The QNT token which is the utility token for Quant Network is used for payment for network resources. Here users that require network resources will pay gateway owners fees in QNT token. Gateway operators may stake QNT tokens with the treasury to secure a higher priority in the transaction order. Users pay an annual licensing fee in the QNT tokens to the treasury. Protocol use cases include Quant Network's overledger which connects both public and private blockchains helping to make distributed ledger technology more accessible for mainstream stream enterprise developers. The Overledger Community Network, which is used as a production testbed for new innovative features, digital currencies, which include central bank digital currency, issuance and transaction, commercial stablecoin issuance and transactions, tokenized money, cross-border payments, where Quant aims to support and or facilitate crypto payment acceptance, stablecoin payment acceptance, micro payments, and the protocol is also used for supply chain management and trade finance, asset tokenization to enable exchange on capital markets as well as for compliance tools to address fraud risks, money laundering crimes, dealing with the proceeds of crime, prevention of tax evasion, insurance, and under insurance, it delivers on interoperability for the insurance industry. So like I've already indicated earlier in this video, we are going to apply 13 elements to establish the credentials for Quant Network and whether it is a viable investment for a retail investor like myself. Is it something that will give us returns or there are inherent risks that are hidden within Quant Network. So the 13 elements we are going to apply to Quant Network are as follows. There is decentralization, security, scaling, interoperability, project team, social media via Twitter, social media via Discord, age of the project, use cases, tokens issued at project launch, tokens in circulation at the point at which we are shooting this video, maximum tokens available, as well as the insider token allocation. And we are going to score these 13 elements between 0 and 10. And once we've scored them, we then aggregate the total score. And that aggregate score is 
going to be classified under the following risk categories because mind you guys this exercise is all about controlling risk you are trying to protect your resources you're trying to protect your funds for that to happen you need to assess whether the crypto project you're about to invest in is a sound project and we use our dyo our risk evaluation to establish that so the four risk categories are as follows the highest risk according to our own criteria we call that the no go category and the project will need to score between 0 and 64 out of 130. the one just above that where the risk has been reduced slightly we call that could go to zero category a project here will have scored 65 to 89 points out of 130. then we have the potential category where a project will have scored 90 to 109 out of 130 which means it's less riskier than the two below it and then the one that we call go for it here a project will have scored between 110 and 130 out of 130. so those are the four risk categories what scores did we give to quant network can we safely and in a manner that gives us peace of mind invest in quant network let's find out on decentralization we gave quant network five points out of ten on security two and a half points out of ten scaling seven and a half points out of ten interoperability quant network is designed for full interoperability we gave it maximum points 10 out of 10 project team 10 out of 10 social media via twitter seven and a half points social media via discord we've already established that quant network does not seem to have an official discord account therefore under this element we are going to give quant network zero points out of ten age of the project 5 points out of 10 use cases 7 and a half points out of 10 tokens issued at project launch 5 points out of 10 tokens in circulation at the point at which we are doing this video 7 and a half points out of 10 maximum tokens available 10 out of 10 inside the token allocation our threshold is 30 percent quant networks inside the token allocation according to our own calculation it's sitting at over 68 percent so we have proceeded to issue quant network 0 points out of 10 the aggregate score for quant network is coming up at 77.5 points out of 130 you guys agree with the individual scores we've issued to each of the 13 elements that we score let us know in the comment section do you agree that 77.5 points out of 130 is a good reflection of quant network is as a project bearing in mind that quant network is one of the few projects that has been doing rather well during this bear market is 77.5 points out of 130 a good score let us know in the comment section one of the things to bear in mind again guys this is not financial advice one of the things to bear in mind is that when a project is doing well during a bear market it does does not necessarily translate to an even better performance during a bull market it's just something to think about it might be that the growth during a bear market is rather subdued could this be the case with quant network no one knows we've got to wait until the bull market comes and it proves us right or wrong as far as we're concerned quant network 77.5 points out of 130 puts quant network within the could go to zero category but then again majority of the projects we've looked at have come under that category could go to zero including some solid projects like your cosmos your avalanche your ethereum they all fall under this category and quant network in good company as far as we're concerned do you guys agree let us know in the comment section and now for some final thoughts having done a dyo a risk evaluation quant network is among the iso 20022 compliant cryptocurrencies or so it's claimed and for more on that please check our latest video i'll leave the link in the description as part of the chosen ones since these are likely to pass the regulatory litmus test do you think quant network deserve to be one of the chosen cryptocurrencies and is it a cryptocurrency that you are going to invest in personally for transparency i do not currently hold quant network do you hold quant network let us know your thoughts in the description until next time guys this was your first update in our iso 2022 compliance cryptocurrency series that we're going to run across seven different projects do you guys agree with our assessment of quant network we've already done a video on algorand link will be in the description as well algorand being one of the projects that is claimed to meet iso 2022 standards do you guys agree with us let us know in the comment section until next time guys this is fd for signing out for now bye